morning. Let's go load a truck. We are done with wheat. We have about 3,000 acres of wheat seeded and we got switched over to canola yesterday. So the semi needs to be loaded with fertilizer. Put out the drill for canola around lunchtime. We have a different truck and trailer for the canola. We've got the Western Star on our Load King Tritum, two hopper Tritum, just because we have uh, two products plus the canola in the saddle tank. So a little bit higher trailer to swing the conveyor under on the drill. So that's a little bit nicer. Next is I can load some canola seed onto the pallet forks of the tractor, carry some seed down to the drill. My dad's already been seeding for a couple hours. So this is ready for when we fill. We have all Liberty Link canola this year, both Invigor and Cantera varieties. This is Invigor. 343, they're all pod shatter varieties. This is what's going in first. So these are the mini bulk tote bags. Got two bags here. Both can seed 200 acres. So we have 400 acres here. Should be good for whenever uh, he's empty. He is way over there. Now I can hop in the sprayer, get a tank out. Before the drill needs to fill, but first let's go check our first seeded wheat. I see something. Look at that. Looking into the sun, you can see the rows pretty good. So this was the first seeded field. This was nine days ago. This is nine days. See what it's like for moisture. It's not very deep right here. Probably was some decent moisture when we seeded. Still a little bit. So that's what it's looking like so far. The ground is so warm, so early, like it just, a little bit of moisture just took right off. If we get a shower here, it'll just explode. Let's get loaded, whack some weeds. The fields have actually been surprisingly dirty how dry it's been. I guess a lot of harrowing in the fall, germinated some seeds, Lots of the wheat growing now onto the ahead of the overseeding canola going on the wheat stubble. So we got three modes of action, four, nine, and fourteen. Hopefully get a nice clean start at the beginning of the year. Trying to squeeze by to the fuel here, but I nailed the spout of the auger with the Exhaust. That's good. I'm going to spray my way to the field I'm working on, starting with this little patch at home. It was dissed and harrowed and worked, and now all this volunteer wheat is growing, so I need to spray that out before it gets too big.
back there. And back down. Usually if I stay like one or two days ahead of the drill, I'm doing pretty good, but these weeds are so big already that I gotta keep spraying. Just from a little bit of spring moisture, a lot of heroin, and super warm early soil temperatures, just all these weeds are just growing like crazy. So we gotta keep this sprayer rolling. Get these things killed. We're gonna lose pressure soon. Gonna be at oh there it goes. I'm empty. Leave the sprayer here. Gotta get the water trailer and fill it up. I'll be back later. This is the slough where we get water. Except for the slough is the lowest it's been in 10, 15 years. A long time. So now we got a 50 foot, three inch hose going way out into the slough just to get some water for the sprayer because we're running out of options. There it goes. But sometimes it quits pumping because they're bottom fill tanks. It takes a lot of pressure to fill the tanks once there gets to be a couple thousand gallons of water in there. So we might have to put another pump closer to the ditch, connect the pumps together along the same hose, and then that pump will push it into the tanks. So yeah, we're kind of running out of options. I'm not sure what we're gonna do come in crop or desiccating season. We're running out of places to get water. It's going. There's a bunch of old machinery out there. I'm not sure exactly what. I know there's a couple old vehicles, an old car, and that was all underwater. It used to be underwater, you couldn't be able to see that. And now like, you can almost see all of it. This water here has dropped so much. It used to be right to the road. They had to rebuild up this road. And look how much is left. There's just water is dropping everywhere go faster. Three quarters full. Screw it. Going in for lunch. Drill's empty. There's the drill. Sprayed this. I finished yesterday. Sprayed most of it two days ago. It's starting to die. Dusty then. A little bit still in there. Now he's good for another 200 acres at least, at least six hours. Field treasure stuck on one of the shanks. There is a little bit of moisture when you're seeding, it's just that the next day or two, 
and it dries right out. There's the canola there. Three quarters to an inch. You'd think that'd be enough to germinate. We'll see. Fill her up. Had to stop for a freezy. It's hot out. It's like muggy. If I didn't check my weather app 15 times today, I'd say there's a thunder shower coming tonight. But there's not. The clouds were kind of trying there for a bit. It went from a 10% chance of showers to 30. Well, that's all we got. Five field sprayed. Time to fill her up again. Oh, we got the pylon out this time. I messed up my angle last time. Tough to see. Yep, it's dry out here. Unit's a little dirty. Tank's a little dirty. Eating canola, hoping for rain. <laughs> 